Lewis, the dust has settled. It is time to reflect a week or so uh, afterwards. Uh, just listening to that again, how do you feel about it all, what you've achieved, what you've won? Yeah, I guess I'm I'm pretty happy with my performances. You know, I can't really complain about too much. Um, I started the week off really well and got myself a surprise medal and then in the tournament medley it was, you know, a solid performance but wasn't exactly what I wanted but it was, you know, still a solid performance and I think overall, you know, on on my behalf, the, my performances are really well but then, you know, also our team did exceptionally well as well. Yeah, let's just talk about, so when you arrived, what were your, what were your aims, what were your goals? I mean, and, and you know, because normally you keep some some of this stuff kind of private, so were you, how many goals were you hunting? <laughs> to be honest, I was only I was, I was hunting one gold, and then um, the turn of, in the that was in the four hundred medley, and then the turn of butterfly. I was just there to have fun and see what I could do. I thought I could do a pretty good time, but didn't think I would be there and on the standing on the top podium. And then in the turn of medley, I knew it was going to be a tough one to beat um, Duncan Scott and Tom Dean, and obviously found out that it was hard to beat them, and you know got the bronze behind them, but. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was, when I come into a competition like this, I shoot four times and hitting my splits and obviously the 400 medley is my main event and I had a set of splits that I really wanted to hit um, and I pretty much achieved that, but 400 medley is such a tough race to get right and, you know, there's always things that you want to work on, always, you know, things you want to get faster and, you know, I, I didn't hit exactly my, my goal time, but, you know, I was there or thereabouts. Your breaststroke's such an improvement, though, isn't it? You must be wrapped with that. Yeah. I mean, it actually wasn't a whole lot faster than what I've previ- previously done. It was just a lot more efficient and smooth and it allowed me to um, go out a bit harder and then come back a bit faster. So um, even though it was you know, only a slight Im- improvement in speed, I was way more efficient than I would, I would usually be. So um, I guess it was you know, a significant improvement and it's going in the right direction. But, um, you know, there's still a lot of work to do um, for me because the guys that, that were there at the Commonwealth Games, you know, their weakest stroke is also breaststroke. So I guess it makes me look a little bit better than um, when I'm racing the rest of the world, you know, the Americans, the, the French boys, uh, you know, they're really fast on breaststroke. So it's a, it's also just how, you know, who, who you're racing. <laughs> So, how much faster can you get? Do you do you know that you can get? Um, that's a good question. My coach Gary always tells me, you know, there's so much more left than to go, and you know, I truly believe that you know I can still keep getting faster. And um, there's still so many little things that are so easy to fix that I just still haven't got right. Um, so I'm not. I don't, if I could tell you how fast I could get, you know, it'd be the million. It's the million dollar question, but. You know, I I do know that there's still, you know, I can still keep getting faster. It's how fast I can get is, you know, I guess I'll find out the day I retire. <laughs> Lewis Clebert is with us. What a stunning success. Two gold medals, 400 metres individual medley in the 200 fly and the bronze in the 200 IM. This is a stunning stat that, that I just love, that your game's record time in the 400 IM, also a PB for you, would have won you a gold medal at last year's Olympics and would have actually won you a gold medal by about points, I don't know, seven or eight. I mean, it's actually quite a significant amount of time in a swimming race. That's that's outrageous, mate. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool to think, you know, what could have happened last year. <laughs> um, but, you know, I never like to look back on and dwell on, on those sort of things because I know that, you know, this year there have been some pretty incredible times um, in my event and my event has actually moved forward quite a bit since um, Tokyo last year so if I want to get myself on that podium in Tokyo it's, I mean in Paris in 24 it's it's going to take a lot a lot more so um, it is it is great looking back and thinking yeah look that would have got me a gold medal which is just crazy to think you know I could have been standing on the top podium but um, obviously it didn't happen, and now we've just got to move forward to the next one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I understand that perfectly. Lewis Klebert is with us. Fourth at the World Champs back in June. So, you know, are those, are those guys that beat you then, are they still going to be your main rivals next year? Or is there other people that are going to come into the mix that we don't even know about yet? Yeah, I mean, there's always people in the mix, I think, that are, that'll surprise you. And they're always, you know, there's, there's probably going to be 
at a few that you know there are thereabouts. Um, I know that there's one Russian boy that obviously wasn't able to attend any of the competitions this year um, that'll probably pop out of the woodworks. And you know, there's always a couple of Japanese guys, but um, I think what I'm proud of is that 408 at the moment is quite competitive. So it could go either way, just depending on obviously your competition. So at the moment, what if I can, you know, get even a little bit faster? I'm I'm in the hunt with the medals with the 408 at the moment. I'm well, I'm there or thereabouts. So it is quite good knowing that and that other people actually have a lot of work to do to to get down to to what we're doing on, on the the higher end of the the podiums. <laughs> Lewis, as soon as you said Russian, I mean, I'm just, my heart sinks, mate. I just think, oh, here we go again. Yeah, what is he, what is he allowed to compete in a, in, a, in, a, in another track suit without Russia on it, is he? I just don't, I despise all their athletes, <laughs> mate. I despise a lot of them. Yeah, look, it's, I think it, it's hard for an athlete like me to comprehend what actually happens over there because, you know, I'm, I'm not over there. Um, and I guess at the moment, with them being blocked off from the rest of the world, there could be some dodgy stuff going on as well. But, look, we've just got to have to trust the the system, the drug-free sports system, and hope that, you know, the processes that they have in place um, work, and that's all we can do as athletes. All right, so where to from here? I know that you're going to, you're coming down to Australia, and then you mentioned earlier something about the World Surf Lifesaving Champs. So what events do you compete in there? Yeah, it's it's an interesting one. I've, I used to do it when I was, um, you know, a younger kid, and it, it was what kept me in swimming, and it was sort of like my saviour of, of my swimming career. And I absolutely love it. It's probably the the most fun I have on a surf trip, uh, on, a, on a team, New Zealand team, just because the culture there is incredible. You know, we have an incredible culture on our swimming team, but the, the surf life saving team is pretty much unbeatable and I love being a part of that team and for me I just pretty much get told what to do and that's what I do there's a whole there's two different competitions so you have the beach component and then you also have the pool component and I'll be doing a bit of that, both of those but essentially my role is just as a team swimmer <laughs> okay all right and your coach is happy is Carrie happy that you do this or do you prefer you concentrate on the pool yeah well um I I asked Gary, obviously. I needed his um, approval to, to get me across the line and to get me on the team. Uh, but it's meant to be my holiday right now. So I'm meant to have a bit of a break after um, the Commonwealth Games and World Champs. And so essentially for me, this is my holiday away from the pool. And it's, but I'm actually still, you know, doing fitness. I'm still working out. So it's a plus for him because I'm, I'm having a good time while I'm doing this. And it's my holiday, and I can keep fit. <laughs> ah, okay. So he'll be wrapped about that. Look, thank you so much again for your time. Um, congratulations on, on on your success. What is it, finally? What does it just feel like inside when you win a medal and you're standing on that podium and you got a flag around and the national anthem goes and your family's there and that? How good does that feel? Yeah, it's pretty hard to describe. I, you know, obviously when I'm when I was a little kid, I would watch people, you know, Kiwis up on the podium and you see them what they do and you that's what you want to you know that's what you want to do it was like a dream come true and um yeah it's pretty indescribable you know it's hearing a national anthem as well is like one of the coolest things ever you know you hear the australian anthem so many times and you know it sort of pisses you off <laughs> so when you when you get to hear your anthem and, you know, you can sing it. It's pretty special, and I don't, really don't know how to explain it. Well, that's perfectly explained. It's, I think everyone who, who, who listens to that absolutely understands it. You make us very proud, man, and um, thank you for that for a start because it's been wonderful sitting here watching these games night after night. You deserve every single bit of your holiday, and all the very best for next year. I mean, I, I don't want to jinx you at all, but seeing you on that podium in Paris would just be unbelievable, mate. You deserve it. Yeah, thank you very much for the support. It's we've felt it over here and on the other side of the world, which is pretty cool. The platform. I mean, twenty twenty four. Of course, I'm in Paris. Uh, Lewis Clearbert with us. Personal best. Uh, Commonwealth Games records, gold medals, bronze medals, fourth at the World Champs. Coach reckons he can be the best in the world.